in an old house and we're looking at the electrical panel, uh, the new overhead service has been updated and a new panel. Uh, it's very common to be in an old house and find out that, yes, we have a new panel, but we have knob and tube wiring upstairs. So when we go upstairs, we're going to look at some uh, places where we found the knob and tube. What we're looking at here is for signs of old wiring. We do see, uh, uh, this is a, a ceramic tube that the old knob and tube wiring was, was used. Um, the wiring we do see has been upgraded, so right in this part of the house, this is not uh, live knob and tube. What we're looking at here is uh, some knob and tube wiring. Today we have the luxury of seeing what's inside the wall. What identifies this knob and tube wiring is, is the single wire coming into this switch box uh, by itself. Um, so it's two individual wires in a big casing about the size of your baby finger. What can be the issue with knob and tube wiring is when it becomes exposed, the insulation around the wire actually gets very brittle and then it just breaks off and peels off. Uh, so when we go to do work with it, we can't find enough insulated wire. And when it gets to that point, we basically need to replace that wire. You can imagine replacing a new wire that goes up the, up the wall and across the ceiling to that point.